Once we've finished basic SEO part one, clean URLs, make sure you check everything off and click save. And then we're going to go to basic SEO part two, which focuses on meta tags. Now meta tags, if you're not familiar with them, are HTML elements on any given page of your website that tell search engines and web browsers things about that page. The most important things it tells them are the title of the page and a description of your page. In Drupal 8, you can gain control over your site's meta tags using the meta tag module. And that's what it's going to recommend we install right now. You can find the meta tag module at drupal.org slash project slash meta tag. So go ahead and download and install this on your site. You don't have to enable anything yet. We'll do that together in just a minute. So once you've downloaded the meta tag module and put it on your site, we'll go to our modules page at extend. And over here, if we click on SEO, then we have a bunch of modules for meta tag. And at the bottom, of course, we have SEO checklist still. Now, most of these we're not going to worry about. We do certainly want to enable the main meta tag module. And then there are other meta tag modules for very specific things. One that you may want to use that we're not going to cover here because it's outside of the scope of search engine optimization, but a common one is Facebook and then open graph as well. So if you think of meta tags in general, as again, providing information to search engines and browsers about any given web page, such as the title of the page and the description with Facebook, you can do things like if someone shares your page on Facebook, you can provide specific information that Facebook might look for that has to do with maybe the description that Facebook wants to use, or even you can specify what specific image from the page you would like to use things like that. So Facebook and open graph does that as well for certain apps. These are two modules that you may want to look into using at some point, but again, they're not really related to search engine optimization for SEO. We're going to focus just on meta tag. So make sure you enable that and then click install. And now we'll go back to our SEO checklist and back to the meta tags tab. It's going to ask us to configure our meta tags. So we'll go ahead and click configure. So here we are at our meta tag settings. We have settings for global, a few error pages, and then most importantly, besides global content and front page. If we open up global here, we'll see that globally for all pages of the site, it's going to give the title of the current page followed by a pipe character followed by our site name. And we can see that even on this current page up here, the current page title is meta tag. Then we have the pipe character that you commonly see in page titles, and then the title of our website. If we click edit, then we can change that. If we want, we can also add a description. Now we can edit just to go back for a second. We can edit anything. We can edit the content, the front page, and it's going to essentially ask us for the same things. Global is going to be the default for any given page on the site. And then when you get to something like content, content will default to global if you haven't set it. But once you start playing around with content, then it's going to whatever settings you add here are going to override what you have for global. Notice everything here is kind of nested. See the arrow is sort of tabbed in a little bit. Same for front page. If you put some settings here for front page, they're going to override the global settings. So if we just take a look at global to start off with and click edit there, we have the page title sort of template is set up similar to path auto. If we want to change anything, we can just type things in or just like again with path auto, we can browse available tokens and grab things from here. And then we can also add a description. It might not hurt right now to go ahead and add a global description for pages that might not have one. Since our site is called Drupal eight SEO or better SEO in Drupal eight or something along those lines. I don't remember exactly. We'll say this is the best source for Drupal eight search engine optimization on the web. And I'll show you exactly what this is and where this shows up in just a second, if you're not familiar with it. 
Now, abstract and keywords, you don't have to worry about. Abstract is essentially the same thing as description, but it's not supported anymore. It's only supported in older versions of HTML. And keywords is, is kind of similar. Keywords, you used to be able to add things like maybe SEO, comma, Drupal, comma, search engine, comma, Google, just like you would add keywords anywhere else. And the search engines would look at these keywords to try to figure out what your page is about. As you may guess though, this became very easy for people to abuse. They would just put in whatever keywords happened to be popular at the time. Maybe they would put Star Wars and then NFL and Nintendo on a page that again, maybe had something to do with Drupal or search engine optimization or flowers or anything just to try to rank in searches for these terms because a lot of people are searching for these terms. So since that became so easy to abuse, as you'll note here, this keyword meta tag is not supported by most search engines anymore. They don't care what you put in your keywords and they barely even look at it. So you can ignore abstracting keywords. We've put in a page title and a description. You don't really have to, we're not going to get into the advanced settings here. This isn't really much that you're going to have to worry about messing around with. So go ahead and save that. And I'm going to show you in a Google search for OS training, how to build a Drupal 8 site, what the different elements here are from your meta tags. This at the top is your title. It's the same thing that's going to show up in the tab of the browser if we go to this page. So if I go ahead and open this in a new tab, if you look up here, you'll see how to build your first Drupal and then it sort of fades out because there's not enough room. But if we go back to the Google page, we see it's the same thing, how to build your first Drupal site dash OS training. The description is this, how to build your first Drupal site, teacher Robert Ring, released December 10th, 2015, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So back on our site, the global setting by default, and again, this is gonna be overridden by certain other settings, is gonna be this description that's gonna show up in this area on search engines, and then this title format, which is gonna show up in the browser tab and as the primary link in search results. So then if we go down I'm not going to worry about 403 and 404 right now. Mainly let's focus on content. We see that content by default uses the no title followed by a pipe character followed by the site name and then a summary of the content, which it gets from the body of the content. So the main thing that's different here is the description. Now, one thing you're going to definitely want to take a look at when you install the meta tag module is the settings for the front page. You can ignore the canonical URL in the short link and look up here where it says inherits meta tags from global. Okay. So the front page doesn't have any settings that's going to override global. And if we look again, global is going to use the page title and the site name. Well, the problem is the front page does not have a page title. So right now, if we go back to the site and look up here, the title looks a little awkward. It's just a pipe character followed by our site title. So we probably want to do something here. Maybe just get rid of the pipe character if nothing else. So once again, we'll go back to our meta tag settings, which are under configuration, search and metadata, meta tag, and next to front page, we're going to click edit. And here we're just going to override the page title to be simply the title of the site with no preceding pipe character or anything like that. So you can just type it in, but really the best practice, just in case you ever decide to change the name of your website would be to get the token for the site title. So we're going to go to site information and expand that and site name and click on that. And we can retype in the description here if we want, but it's going to get that from our global settings. And I don't think there's anything that we need to change for the front page. So we'll just leave this alone. And again, it will inherit from global. So we'll save that and then go back to the website. And now we have a clean looking title for our homepage.